hometown USA, where people are born, raised, and then, for many, something brings them back home because things are just better there, closer, simpler. Owego, New York, along with neighboring Appalachian, is one such community. And one of the ties that's always tightly bound this vibrant community has been its schools. You know, they, everybody loved the school and we had all of, I knew the parents, the kids, the parents, the grandparents. Schools are a reflection of the community and not everybody speaks English the same way and not everybody is a mathematician the same way. And so you have to recognize that. And uh, you have to work very hard at building an environment where they're comfortable. I would come in and sit in my office and stop and think, wow, this is massive, all these people. All of a sudden, the buses unload, and you are now involved with 650 youngsters. Did it all work? No, it didn't all work, but boy, we, we had a lot of success. That flood was so tremendous that no matter what you attempt to do, it just wasn't enough. You couldn't hold the water back. Kept watching the water from where we live. We could see it rise. And as it was rising, I kept saying to my wife, the school's gonna get it this time. It's coming. While Mr. Merrill and many others had seen this before, most recently in 2006, no one could have predicted the devastation the Owego Appalachian community would sustain in September 2011. Well, the day started as any first day of school does with the kids coming in and excited with new sneakers and backpacks and everybody happy to be there and we knew it was gonna rain. And our biggest worry at that time was whether or not we'd be able to have outdoor recess. And little did we know that outdoor recess would become the least of our worries that day. were under the impression that the following year we would be back in our old school that maybe had gotten cleaned up somehow. Um, we soon realized that wouldn't be the case, that it would have to be rebuilt. People had lost their building that they loved and whose children and grandchildren had gone there for years and was really a, a center point of, of the community. And our staff loved the building. It was an old building, but it was a good building. Our staff was able to go over beforehand and, and take a last look and gather on the playground and kind of say our goodbyes. Um, but we knew the only option, truly the only option, was to move forward and to rebuild for our students. We're a school district that's flat on our back. We've lost four of our eight buildings. We have children riding a bus for an hour and a quarter each way to a temporary facility uh, that had been closed by the school district that owned it. Uh, it was not a, uh, in a community that was also suffering very greatly at the time. After a period of intense struggle and contentious negotiations between the school district and FEMA, there was little progress. Finally, at Dr. Russell's urging, public officials intervened. In June of 2012, FEMA announced that it would fund a new elementary school. Further negotiations over the design and scope of work took another year and a half, but by the end of 2013, the school district had secured the necessary funding. They sent in a fairly serious team of high-level people from Region 2 at FEMA uh, to talk with us about what we were going to do. By December, we were uh, beginning to 
uh, prepare to drill all the wells for our geothermal facility and by the end of January we're uh, drilling our geothermal wells and we're beginning to uh, prepare to start pouring foundations and we've been in full-blown all-out construction ever since. With voter approval in place, Owego Appalachian was finally able to move forward. The community would have its new elementary school, a state-of-the-art facility, and at no additional expense to the local taxpayers. We got terrific contractors. Uh, we uh, were very satisfied with the quality of work that we knew they had done in other places. With almost no exception, we have seen superb quality work. The day the steel started going up was really truly astonishing because you've got big cranes, you've got big tall pieces of steel, uh, and at some level it's just a big giant erector set. I talk to parents literally every day that says, oh, every time I drive by that school my kid wants to slow down and he's hanging out the window. So I'm, look at that, that's my new school. And the kids are very excited about it there. The extra things that we would have that we never had in the old building Everyone just got so excited and it's a little bit hard now to wait to get in there because we know how wonderful it's going to be. Um, there are just special things because of, of new mandates since you know our new building was built and other things that we were able to add that we've not had before like an auditorium and family rooms for the different grade levels where they can all meet, a whole grade level could meet at a time, new technology that we'll have and some outdoor learning spaces that we just can't wait to use. Well, there are, uh, there's literally a whole generation of elementary kids who have never been to school in their own hometown. Uh, that's huge uh, for parents that watch their children get on a bus and go off into a whole different community that is not near them, is not near where they work, and they can't see their kids until those buses get back safely. It was a lot for people to deal with, but everyone helped each other. We just can't wait to get home. And what would the former principal say to the students returning for their first day of school at home in Owego, many for the first time? Probably would stand in the doorway greeting them and I'd say to them, thank you for coming and let me help you. Any new school is a big deal. You can't help but go by it and say, wow. You have a new school, you have a new classroom. Everything is brand new. I almost wish I could be in your shoes to take advantage of all of this. Everything is so beautiful. We're gonna have some really good times here. I promise you. People are, uh, they're excited to see a new building go up. They're excited to see the school district recover. Uh, they're excited to see all of our effort come to fruition. They're really excited uh, to see their kids coming home.